Bookish Banter with the White Lake Township Library. I'm April Stevenson, Library Director, and with me today uh, from the Huron Valley Council for the Arts are the Chair of the Spring Art Market, Cindy Ernst, and Chair of the Art Shop, Karen Y. Jennings. Welcome, ladies. Thank you for having Thank us. You for the, yeah. So we have an exciting announcement today. The Library and the Huron Valley Council for the Arts are collaborating on a spring art market on Friday, May 3rd and Saturday, May 4th, 10 to 4. This is very exciting. Um, I understand that this event will support local artists. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yes, we have the art shop at the Huron Valley uh, Building and activities like this help pay for an executive director and some other activities we do with the schools and um, so the artists bring in their art and 25% of the sale of the art goes toward all the activities of Huron Valley Arts, Arts Doc Work. Nice, nice, very nice. And about how many artists can we expect at the Spring Art Market? This is going to be a little smaller one than uh, Bogey Lake Greenhouse. Usually we have about 60 artists there, but we're starting out this year with 21 uh, artists. We have uh, eight people coming in from the outside and about 13 or 14 of the Huron Valley Arts folks going to act, participate with us. So certainly that's going to call for a lot of variety. That's wonderful. Absolutely. Uh, so you brought some samples. Um, can you talk about some of these and uh, other items that we're going to have available there? So some of the, I brought some items from the Art Council, and we have stained glass, and that's something that Karen does, and we have pottery sculpture, and Beautiful. Jeff's wood pens that are very popular, and stitch wrapper, stitch rippers that sell like crazy. It's a nice gift for Mother's Day coming up. We have fused glass, we have glass jewelry, and we are going to have some artists bringing in uh, lake glass jewelry, and Mary Badges, who is very popular in the area, her purses and artwork is going to be there. We have basket sampler, but we also have our folks from Huron Valley Arts that do a really nice job with baskets. It's something that people like to use, sit around the home, or use for Easter. Um, here's silk scarves, and we, I just brought a small picture for example so people know that we have paintings and drawings that are coming in of various sizes. Jim Williams is going to bring some of his Detroit um, focused art, and that should be a lot of fun. Coming from the outside, we are going to have a, a candy artist coming in, of course I said basket sampler, we're going to have uh, fiber art sculpture and um, recycled bird feeders. And then the Lipschinskis are coming in. They do Michigan-related uh, jewelry of silver and stone, and they do a wonderful job, and they're great supporters of Huron Valley Arts. Yes. Uh, we also have Cece's Food coming in again this nice. year, and she's bringing her fried catfish and chicken tenders and gourmet macaroni and cheese. Oh boy. Now she's going to be sitting right outside. <laughs> you are talking my language now. <laughs> so certainly a great opportunity to come out and shop for such one-of-a-kind gifts. Um, it also leaves people plenty of time. We've got Mother's Day coming up, we've got Father's Day coming up, grad parties, weddings, you are going to find everything you need, and the wonderful thing about it is you are supporting local artists twofold, and you're giving someone something that is truly one of a kind. I mean, you can go out and you can buy duplicates of everything that, you know, someone could be in one house or another, but you're going to see these things nowhere. This is going to be it right here at the Spring Art Market. Um, another thing that's going on that is so exciting is our friends at the White Lake Township Library. Uh, they have partnered with local businesses uh, to build baskets, beautiful gift baskets that they're going to be selling raffle tickets for. Um, so it's your opportunity while you're at that Spring Art Market to pick up some raffle tickets for those and then come on over to the June book sale uh, that our friends of the library put on and uh, you'll find out who won. And these are just fabulous, fabulous raffle back baskets. You are not going to want to miss that aspect of this. Um, so you were saying Cece's food truck. I, I, I agree. Wonderful food. Um, great, just comfort food. So you can come on down for that aspect of it, see some beautiful artwork, eat, 
And you know what? You can take that food onto one of the three beautiful patios that the library has. Just off the gathering place, a giant patio that we have, covered beautiful colored umbrellas, um, and then we have an adult patio, and then we also have a children's patio. And I don't know if you ladies have seen that, but there is a giant chess set. Uh, so giant chess, giant checkers, four square, um, and just a beautiful area. There's also going to be, we're putting some raised garden beds out there because we want people to come out to be able to plant some gardens. And you know, artwork has, it's, it's making things, it's also, it's a growing and planting things, right? I mean, it's just about enjoying that kind of art and creativity that, um, that the spring brings. And that's why we're calling it Spring Art Market. Um, so a great event you won't want to miss, but you know what, I just, ladies, I wanna know, is there anything else you want to add? Well, I, I think the thing that I would add is that we have items at a variety of price points and a variety of styles. So no matter who you're shopping for, uh, and it, you could end up shopping for yourself as well. <laughs> you should. <laughs> I you should. always do. That happens. That happens. Um, so there's a, there's a <clears throat> pardon me, there's a wonderful variety available um, to people. Now we are... Um, if you can't wait for the art sale, um, the art shop is at 205 West Livingston Road, so we're just south of M59 and just west of Livingston Road. And we are open Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 10 to 3, Friday, 10 to 5, and Saturday, 10 to 2. So, and we're just down the road from the library, so, That's right. so it's um, a wonderful collaboration. And we're very excited, yes, and, and if you haven't been to the Heron Valley Council for the Arts, I do suggest you go. It is a beautiful building and wonderful artwork there that you can get, again, one of a kind. So, again, just Heron Valley Council for the Arts and the White Lake Township Library Spring Art Market, Friday and Saturday, May 3rd and 4th, 10 to 4, both days. Don't miss it. Don't miss the great food, CeCe's Food Truck, the patios, um, and just a chance to come out and visit. Um, and get those wonderful gifts and wonderful food and we will see you there and thank you both for joining and for partnering with us thank you for thank partnering you. with us and thank you so much we'll thank see you, you there yeah thank great you for joining us